So we all have that annoying friend, that friend where luck just seems to be on their side. My friend's name is Randy Rodriguez. To recap, Randy Rodriguez grew up loving Nissan Zs, dropped out of medical school, pissed off his Asian mother, and then went to design school to become a deadbeat car designer. He then went to Nissan, and before he was 30, got awarded, because his sketch was so good, the 370Z. As if that weren't enough, he put a sketch in for a mid-engine concept car, and that bastard had it come to life. So let's say for the sake of discussion that you're Infinity and you want to build a low volume halo sports car, but you have a couple of parameters. Number one, you don't want to borrow anything from your parent company. Number two, you don't want to build your own platform. And number three, and most important, you want a very green theme to this whole exercise. Well, they found a rather unlikely matchmaker, an entire country. You see, about the same time that the Emerge project was kicking off, the UK government was looking to promote their homegrown green engineering initiatives. So Infinity was coupled with, let's just say, another well-known engineering-led company. They started with Hethelzone Vora as the platform, but rather than use a high horsepower large engine coupled with a CARES type system, they went about the concept of building a green halo sports car in an entirely different manner. This is a series hybrid, but the interesting bits don't stop there. This has the range extender three cylinder motor that Lotus developed and patented. And basically what it is, it puts out 35 kilowatts of power. Now, there's four electric motors. They're on each side, two are paired with each other, and both of them power each wheel. So, what is the overall output of the vehicle? So we've got the range extender, which is the 35 kilowatts. The overall output is 300 kilowatts. But I am one of those plebes on this side of the Atlantic that still operates in Imperial units. So it's 414 total system horsepower. I asked the people that came with this car, and here's the fun fact. Did you know that this Japanese sports car that was designed and built in the UK comes with two engineers, one British and one French, much like a Lego playset. And both of them refused to transfer the torque output from Christian units to Imperial units but they did say it's 1,100 newton meters of torque. I'll let you figure that out in Imperial units. So word to the Lotus faithful out there. If you've ever driven an Avora or an Elise, and you get that, that typical Lotus feel, that immediate connection with a car, that's kind of what you get here as well, but there's significantly more power in this car. And let's face it, it's a concept car. I mean, people, we're driving a concept car. It's actually a very familiar place to be. If you've ever been inside of a Lotus Evora, it's kind of the same thing here. It's got the same aluminum tub. It's got the high step over, which is very conducive to dates, I might add. And then a lot of the trim on the interior is carbon fiber. Now here's an important part. This car, it's not supposed to look like carbon fiber. It is carbon fiber. Everything on the inside is carbon fiber. All the body panels are carbon fiber. Then once you get into the details on the inside, all of the switch gear is aluminum, much like the Evora. It doesn't really have a transmission because it's an electric car. It's got a reduction gear. So all you really have is push buttons to go forward or backward. Then once you're sitting in the car, it's very much an exotic car. I mean, there's kind of no foot room. Um, but other than that, it's really a very comfortable place to be. It even has a cute little horn. Now, over the years, you and I have driven some really interesting concept cars. We drove the first ever concept car, the Buick Y-Job from 1938, which really, it drives like a full-on production car from 1950. And then we drove the Hyundai Curb Concept, which is a China doll. I mean, that thing didn't go over 15 miles an hour. This is nothing like those. This is a full-on sports car that has been made from the general design of a concept car, but really, you could take this car and probably go cross-country, and granted, it'd be a little weird. There's a couple of things that are not quite sorted out, but you could make it. So do you guys remember last summer when we talked with Shiro about this car? He was very excited about the vents in the back. Now, he's a designer, and he talked about it from the perspective of it looks like a kimono draped over a sexy woman's body. But really what's happened here is that's an entirely new way of forcing air for cooling the electric motor, but also creating more downforce. 
we've taken the design from Shiro's group, but the engineering folks over at Infinity in the UK, they've totally engineered the system and now have applied for eight different patents based on the vents and the spoiler in the rear. It's a very weird sensation, I have to say. The Volt, it also has an engine that comes on, a gas engine that comes on. This does too, but the gas engine and the Volt's in the front. This one is mid-engine like my beloved Lotus. So it's coming from a normal place, but when I hit the gas or the electric, it has significantly more torque than an Evora. Now, I would like to point out that I drove this car for the first time yesterday. Randy, the man who designed this car, he drove it for the first time today. So all I have to say is nah, 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 nah. Okay, so here's the script. For a new Moto Man film every week, click subscribe. And to get a sneak peek of what's coming up on the show, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, Moto Man TV, all one word.